hello now welcome you to physics and math made simple this is Elisha in this video we are going to to demonstrate how you can actually construct anything that you've been asked to construct following the given instructions so this actually falls under what we call loci and construction which is a grade 11 to uh, topic but mostly it comes on an exam uh, so <clears throat> let's take a look at this so the the, the first instruction reads construct triangle ab sandwich ab is equal to eight centimeters so now what it is is uh, you always have to take the first line to be the best line so now how do you actually demarcate that on a piece of paper uh, so now here is the rule so now when you are making that line or you're drawing that line you have to ensure that you start from zero so zero is here make a mark and then you go to eight centimeters eight centimeters is here we can now draw the line conjoining the two points so that is point b and the first point is point a don't you mix ink and pencil after making a line make sure that you demarcate the points with a pencil so we are done with the first uh, instruction they're saying b a c is equal to 110 degrees so is this this is here so now when you see this that symbol simply denotes an angle and it's angle a so you go to where a is so a is here this is where we're going to construct uh, 110 degrees so now when you put the protractor here make sure that this baseline here is in line with the line that you have drawn and then the the middle line here which points at 90 degrees is actually aligned with uh, the line or the point where a is drawn so from here you will need to make use of the best uh, the base scale here so you start from 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 is here so we can make a mark on 110 okay, so now we can draw a faint line don't make it bold just make a faint line because you don't know the length of that line so from there we can actually read on to see what I, what what next we expected to construct now they're saying angle b is equal to 35 degrees so i'm reading here angle a b c so the middle later determines where you're going to construct the, the angle so that's angle 35 so i'm going to get the protractor plant it at point b then this time around i won't make use of the lower scale i'll make use of the top scale so we start from here 10 20 30 so now 35 is here 31 32 33 34 35 is here it's falling where there is this one which is protruding so this is 35 okay so i've made the mark what i remain with is now drawing the line from point b through that mark i have made and it will now touch the other line that i've drawn so far okay so now i can make the other line bold since i know that it it will actually end here make sure that your pencil is well sharpened so i've drawn the triangle so here we have point c okay so from there it's all about following the instructions that you get 
That's all. So we move on to number two, the saying measure and write the length of BC. So that's a line starting from point P to point C. So how do you measure that? Plant your rule here. Make sure that as you read the the length, you start from zero. So this one is falling at 13 point, that is 13.1.2, that's point T three that is 13.3 so we can say uh, that's number that's that's a2 i will indicate it here a2 so we say line bc is equal to 13.3 centimeters so that one has been answered let's move on we go to b what is B saying? So they're saying within the triangle ABC. So that is the triangle we've, we've drawn, ABC, with those vertices. So they're saying within that triangle, you, you have to take note of that speech mark. Whatever you're going to, to construct later on will be constructed on the inside of the triangle, but whatever you do you won't protrude to the outside. It has to be confined within the triangle. And uh, construct the locus of points which are three centimeters from AB. So let's take note of where AB is. So AB is this line. And uh, the path that we're going to draw is actually three centimeters from here. So what you do is you get your, your pair of compasses and uh, your rule. Then you have to pick the dimension three centimeters. Okay, here we go. I've extended the pair of compasses to three centimeters. And then I'm going to strike the, 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 the axe. I will plant the pair of compasses on line AB and then strike faint axe. One, two. So here, this will help you to determine where the line will actually pass. So the line will actually touch the tips of those two axes that I've drawn. But the line won't, be, won't actually protrude the triangle. It has to be drawn within. So that's the locus of points, which is 3 centimeters from line AB. Let's put it on. The next one says, if it's distant from AC and BC. So in a case where you have two lines, you need to know that is an angle bisector so take note of the common vertex there that's vertex c that is a c b c so c is common so we're going to bisect c so here we go i plant the pair of compasses here and then i strike an arc then from here i shift the pair of compasses plant it here where the arc is touching the other line which is line bc then strike another arc here a faint arc shift the pair of compasses plant it on the other point then strike an arc okay so now i will draw the line running from the vertex c through the intersection point of the two arcs and i will make sure that this line doesn't protrude the, the trunk so I've drawn that, the locus of points, which is equidistant from uh, SC and BC. Let's, let's read on. Number three here is saying four centimeters from A. If you are asked to draw the locus of points, which is actually four centimeters from a point, so A is a point, you need to know that's a second. So I'm going to pick four centimeters from my rule okay so now i pick four centimeters and then they're saying this is equidistant from point a so i'm going to plant the pair of compasses on point a i make sure that it's anchored in the paper and then i strike an arc so I'm going to just draw a segment of the circle. 
I'll make sure that this one is bold enough because it has to be a circle but I won't complete it in that there's, there's, there's a condition that whatever I draw has to be drawn within the triangle. Uh, everything looks good. Let's move on to the last one now. Just for doing what I've done so far, you actually walk away with one, two, three, four, five, six marks. Let's do the last one. They're saying a point Q inside triangle ABC is greater than or equal to three centimeters. So this is uh, the locus of points, which is three centimeters away from AB. So this is three. So we know that the, 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 the area we are looking for is actually above this line. It's not within this region. It's above that. And then uh, less than or equal to four centimeters. This one is actually the one that we drew, which is saying the locus of points which are four centimeters away from air. So we know that that point won't be this side, but within this area. Now let's read on. From A and the nearer to AC, nearer to AC than BC. So, okay, nearer to AC than BC. Indicate clearly by shading. Let me put this one here. Indicate clearly by shading the region in which Q must lie. So if it's nearer to AC than BC, then this is actually the region. So what is the later that should be indicated here? It's Q. So that's region Q. So friends, that's how we do any problem that has to do with constructions. I will actually roll out a couple of videos on how you can actually deal with any problem that has to do with construction and any other problem that has to do with trigonometry, statistics, standard deviation mention. What you have to do now is uh, you hit on the like button, share the video with as many people as you can. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that the next time I will roll out a video, you won't need to come on YouTube and look for this channel, but you'll be elated. Stay blessed.